those that are afflicted with the coven. Prayer will fix it. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we do come before thee at this hour. Thank you and praise you for your blessings, great and small, and for the power of God, which is under salvation to all that believe. We thank you for Jesus, who came one day for the life of mankind, that the souls of man might be redeemed from the penalties of sin and shame. We thank you for the comforter which is come to lead, guide, and to direct into all truth and righteousness. The gospel which he preached, healing the sick, causing the lame to walk, the blind to see, the deaf to hear, and then the poor having the gospel preached even unto them. We thank you, Father, for so loving us that you gave him unto us that he might be a witness and an example of what we are to be in order to get where you are. We thank you for the preaching of the gospel your loving arms of protection around about us, shielding us from all that harm and danger. As David said, that he that abideth in the shadow of the wings of the Almighty shall abide. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide. Under the shadow of the wings of the Almighty. We thank you for that loving arms of protection around about us. Shielding us from hurt, harm, seen and unseen danger. We thank you for all things in Christ Jesus, the trials, the tribulations, the sufferings, the persecutions. The things that we must endure in order to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Remember the world in its entirety, them that are less fortunate than we are. As this virus is attacking here and there, here and there everywhere in a hundred and some odd different countries this invisible enemy has seen fit to have its way but not with those who are close to you you have given us a hedge to protect us from the unseen danger and for that we are most grateful remember those in the hospitals those that are afflicted remember the governor of virginia and his wife dear lord at this hour that you will touch their bodies repair the system build the system the immune system to be able to survive this attack. Pray, dear Lord, that you will open the understanding of us all that we may see, know, and understand that unless God watch the city, if you don't keep us, nothing can prevent the adversary from taking us out. So we thank you. And we ask that you will remember him and his wife and his family and those in surrounding him. Remember each and every one, the doctors that are caring for. Pray, dear Lord, that you will be with them and protect them. And Father, feed us with the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that we may have a better and a depth of knowledge of what is, who you are, and how we are to be in this present evil world. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and for his sake, remember all that we have not and cannot call by name who need and stand in need of your blessing right now. 
Together can we all say, amen. amen. Give an honor to God and to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to the ministers of the gospel, to the diggers that are assembled to the congregation, and those that are tuning in today, we say good afternoon and may God bless you. For truly God is good and his mercy endureth to all generations. We thank God for the principles, the teachings, the doctrines of Christ. Thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and then respect. It's first being to God, then to leadership, and then to one another. Thank God for sparks from the anvil on this, the 27th day of September. Isn't that something? September just got here. And September is just about gone. Isn't that something? Sparks from the anvil on page three of your programs today. It says, if you have a religion that doesn't make you happy, junk it. Isn't that something? If you have a religion that don't make you happy, you just ain't satisfied with it. I think the elder says to junk it. Isn't that what he said? You see, you have to be satisfied in order to be happy. As the sister was testifying about, she just won't feel it yesterday. Amen. Just wasn't feeling it. If you have a religion, and that religion is just, you're just not feeling it. The elder said, junk it. Because there's a better one. Amen. Second one says, some people do not enjoy their religion. They endure it. Same thing with marriage. Some people just enduring. They're not enjoying marriage. They're just enduring it. And when the opportunity arises, they bail. As the elder said, if he's not loving you, he's enduring you. Some people got a religion. They just... Don't enjoy it. They go to church. They look sour. They go in. They come out the same way they went in. There's no fulfillment there. Some people do not enjoy their religion. They just endure it well. I was born a Baptist, I'm going to die a Baptist. Just because you were born a Baptist don't mean that you have to die a Baptist. Because if you're not holy, you're going to hell. Amen. So get into the real religion. And you'll be able to enjoy singing, shouting, praising God, serving God, loving God. Amen. Third one said, when it comes to religion, folks will take anything. You go to Petersburg, Virginia. You got a church on that corner. And across the street, you got another church on that corner. And across the other street from that one, you got a church on that corner. You got four churches in one square. And all of them got a different religion. But they all claiming they're on the way to heaven. When it comes to religion, folks will take anything. But when it comes to anything else, they only want the best. They want only 
the best. Isn't that something? Interesting. It doesn't matter what you do. It's all right. But when it comes close to home, it then becomes not all right. People siding with black America, the movement, but when the movement comes into their neighborhood and knocks on their door, it's, it's not all right. When it comes to religion, folks will take anything, but when it comes to anything else, they want only the best. They want to defund the police, but they want the police to protect their homes. They want the best. The fourth one said, you need a religion that satisfies. Amen. That satisfies. There is no one that can satisfy like Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus, and you can. Smile the rest of the day. The problem is people don't want to turn it over. Right. Amen. Yeah. You need a religion that satisfies. It's just like a good cold glass of water. You notice I paused there. I ain't talking about no good cold glass of liquor. Good cold glass of wine but a good cold glass of water, it satisfies. In the heat of the day, when you're thirsty, and that water, amen, it satisfies, truly. And on the back of the program it says, the purpose for Christ coming into the world is and has always been for the salvation of mankind. For God so loved mankind, whom he created for his own glory. Isn't that something? God made man, formed him from the dust of the ground, breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Man became a living soul. God created man that he may get the glory out of man's life but he gave man a choice. And when man has a choice, he do, does the suit himself. Amen. Yeah. And Satan came along, and here, when you're supposed to be loving one another, you're hating one another. That's giving your strength to the adversary and not to the one that created you. He loved mankind, whom he created for his own glory, that man one day might behold his glory. As Paul says, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Therefore, that love, speaking of Christ, appeared on earth for an example of what is acceptable and to perpetuate in them a what? A pure heart. Amen. A pure heart. And when your heart is pure, there's joy. No matter what happens around you, if your heart is pure, there's joy. When the world is being turned upside downward, there's joy. Why? Because your heart is pure. And when your heart is pure, nothing offends you. Interesting, isn't it? Amen. And on the front of your program, it says, to qualify for heaven, you must 
be pure. Amen. We have rules and regulations that we don't tolerate this, that, or the other thing in our space, in our homes. If we here on earth can have such rules and regulations and restrictions, what about God Almighty? Think about this. If God were to allow anything into heaven, you'll have hell in heaven like it is on earth today. But God is not going to accept anything less than what's acceptable. Amen. A lot of things we accept, but they're not acceptable. Okay, I'll just bear with that. I'll bear with your attitude today, but it's not acceptable. How we doing, church? Amen. In order to qualify for heaven now, you must be pure. So we thank God indeed for all things. Thank God for what he's done, what he's doing, what he has plans to do. His blessings, great and small, and for the power of God, which is under salvation to all that believe. We thank God for what he has done this day. Not yesterday, but this day. And that which is to be tomorrow, if he so willed that tomorrow do come. Amen. We thank God for his loving arms and protection around about us. Shield us from all that harm and danger and the sins of the world. Thank God for the hedge, the hedge. Brother in his prayer was speaking about the hedge. Thank God for the hedge that is round about the children of God. You see, Satan's aim and object, and I, and I tell people this when they ask me, where's your mass? What do you need with a mass when you have a hedge? Amen. Well, where's your protection? Well, you don't see that invisible enemy, and you don't see my invisible mass. But I have a hedge that is around me that sees and protects me from the enemy. Listen to the prayer. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from what? Evil. For thine is the kingdom. Watch this now. The power. God gives his people a hedge. Even Satan himself acknowledged the hedge. When he was asked, have you considered my servant Job that there's none like him in the earth? He said, yes, but you have a hedge about him and all that he has. You can't see the hedge, but it's there. You can't see the enemy, the invisible enemy, the COVID-19, that pestilent. You can't see it, but it's a reality. One thing is of a certainty. I have a hedge. Jesus Christ had a hedge. There is never on record anywhere found that all the diseases and the contaminating disease of people that he healed, not a one of those diseases was able to affect him. Why? Because greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my hedge. Amen. To protect. Amen. It says, it shall not come nigh thy dwelling. Amen. Today I want to speak to you about two words and five scriptures. Amen. Two words and five scriptures. Pure religion. Amen. Pure religion. Now, if 
we mention pure religion, I, I'm putting something to it because there's another religion that is not pure. Amen. People in the street, religiously, every night, rioting. That's, they, they are religiously. They believe in what they are doing. Religion is believing in what you're doing. But is it pure? If you turn it around and riot against them and burn their houses, turn their car upside, that's the wrong thing to do. But they religiously are out there causing other people harm. Do unto others as you have them to do unto you. What you sow, you're going to reap. Amen. It's coming back to you one day. One day. So today I want to talk to you about pure religion. Amen. Dig it if you will, congregation. Turn with me to the book of <clears throat> James. First chapter. And the 27th verse. Pure religion. Pure, listen to the, how we define this now. Not mixed, amen. Not mixed or adult turd, meaning it's not contaminated with anything else. Alterated or altered or even mixed with anything else. Amen. Adultered is defined as render something poorer in quality. Mm. You're going to render something poor in quality. That means mix something. You know, there's one thing that the elder would never do is that marry a saint to a sinner. There's a reason for that. Marriage is tough enough as it is. You got to be on one accord. You have to have common ground. And if God is your common ground, you can work through the obstacles in marriage. Pure religion. Amen. Amen. Pure is also not mixed with any other substance or material. It is also free from contamination involving or containing nothing else but what's real. Amen. Just like a marriage, got to have love. Don't get your L's mixed up. There's lust and there's love. Amen. There's lust and there's love. Don't get the L's mixed up. And you find that to be pure, You cannot mix anything else with it of a lesser quality. Amen. If you have a husband that you love, amen, you can't mix that love with hate and expect things to work. It has to be pure love. Amen. Cannot be contaminated. It has to be pure. And if it is pure, your marriage will endure hardness. 
Amen. Religion is defined as a particular system of faith. A particular system of faith. Faith is what you believe in. A particular system of faith, watch this now, and worship. Some people worship Satan. Satism. We worship God. Amen. Religiously, religiously, we come to church. Religiously, we say, religiously, we testify to the goodness and the glory and the honor of God. Religiously. A system, a particular system of faith and worship such as holiness. Without which, no man shall see the Lord. So when people ask you, well, what's your, what's your religion? Every child of God should say holiness. All right. How we doing, church? Amen. So if you are Catholic, if you are Baptist, if you're Presbyterian, if you're apostolic or whatever. That's right. Preach it. <laughs> Holiness. Thank you. That's the religion. And when you say holiness, that means you're dotting the I's, crossing the T's, line upon line, precept upon precept, whatever is written in the book. That's right. I religiously are in tune with what's written. Mm. Amen. Amen. How we doing, church? Amen. Pressing on. People are religious, and some are not as religious. Mm -hmm. Some people are religious, some people are not as religious. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. But I thank God. I love my wife. Mm. Amen? Amen. And no matter what she does, <laughs> I still come home to her. All right. There's nothing that no one else outside of our marriage that anyone else can offer. All right. Because love does not hurt harm, or do any damage. Amen. 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 So we're talking about pure religion today, a particular system of faith and worship such as holiness, and without which, without holiness, amen, without holiness, without being holy, You cannot be where God is. Amen. You cannot behold his glory. You cannot, what I'm saying is, you're not making it to heaven unless you are holy. Amen. Amen. That's right. So listen, in the book of uh, James, first chapter, 27th verse, it says pure religion mm -hmm. and what? And undefiled. Undefiled. You see this? That's right. Not mixed with anything other than what's written, what's prescribed, and what is designed to condition you properly Amen. to make it into the kingdom. Pure religion and undefiled what? Before God. Before who? God. God's the judge. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father and the Father is this. Is this. Read. To visit the fatherless. Visit the fatherless and widows. And the widows. And read. In their, in their affliction. 
We have one in our midst today. Amen. And we check on this person. All right. To lose a spouse whom you love. See, some yeah. people lose them and they don't love them. They're glad to see them gone. Yeah. It is an affliction. You suffer yeah. when they're gone. Preach it. Because there are things in which that spouse does that no one else does and things that you can't do. So it's an affliction to visit the fatherless and widows with an S in their affliction. Read. And to keep them. Here's the key. Here's what pure religion is. And to keep themselves, read. Unspotted. Unspotted what? From the world. You pull up in the parking lot and here's somebody that know your standard of life. Mm -hmm. All right. And you ain't conducting yourself according to your standard of life that they know you of. That's right. I'm way down there in Florida. Mm -hmm. Family and I, way down there in Florida. We round the corner and up come another family of the church but they ain't church-like, <laughs> All right. pure religion. Mm. It doesn't matter where you go. You don't change your religion because you're in Florida. That's right. Thank you. Preaching now. You don't get to the workplace and say, I'm not married because my husband is at home. That's right. I'm still married. Amen. As I told them on the trip, we pull up there in Pittsburgh unloading the bus. <laughs> and they're going to get off the bus and say, ain't nobody married on this trip. Mm. My goodness. See, now, pure religion is this. I don't care what y'all do. I am still married. Preach it. That's right. Unspired. That's pure religion. Keeping yourselves unspotted. From the world. The world cannot put a finger on you and say, yeah, I saw her. Thank you. I saw him. That's right. And I know that that pastor don't allow certain things like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look at here. Pure religion. See, it's one thing is of a certainty. We don't know when he's coming. Amen. 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 You don't know when he's coming. That's right. And you don't know when you're going to pop up on an angel. We have entertained angels unaware. They are all around in the earth. That's right. Circulating and running messages back and forth. Jacob say he saw mm -hmm. the ladder stretched to heaven. And on that ladder were angels going up and down, up and down. Oh, yeah. You see, we all have an angel. Every child of God has an angel. Amen. And that angel protects us. That angel runs messages for us in the split second. We think it, boom, the angel is gone to heaven with that message. Mm. We learned that in Daniel. Daniel prayed and Satan held his message up for 21 days. That's right. That's right. 21 days. Mm. So pure religion. And undefiled before God. When God looks at you, you cannot have anything mixed in your heart but love. Amen. Peace, joy, happiness. You can't have nothing defiled in there. Amen. Because anything that is not of God is of the devil. And those two don't mix. That's right. 
Amen. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless in, and widows in their affliction and to keep himself what? Unspotted. Unspotted. From the world. First John, second chapter, 15 verse. Listen to this. 2.15 says what? Love, Love not, not the world. Do what? Love not the world. Neither. The things that are in the world. See, now this is advice being given to us. That's right. Amen. Pure religion. You cannot mix pure religion with any other type of religion. That's right. Amen. How are we doing, church? Pressing on. You cannot sing God's hymns and the devil's music. Mm. It don't mix. Don't mix. Amen. Preach it now. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Read. If any man love the if world. If any man love the world, what? The love of the Father is not in him. There it is. You cannot get darkness to go where the light is. Amen. Where do you find darkness? Anywhere that the light doth not shine. Oh, yes. So true. Pure religion. Mm -hmm. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father, what? Is not in him. For all that is in the world is what? The lust of the flesh. There it is. The lust of the flesh, read. The lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes, read. The pride of life, the pride of life what? Is not, is of, the not of the Father, but what? But it's of the world. It's of the world. And you cannot take God and mix him with the world. That's right. Mm. Worldly things and righteous and pure things don't mix. Amen. A marriage is between a man and a woman. <laughs> Pure. God sanctioned it mm. for a purpose of replenishing the earth. You cannot get multiplication out of a same-sex marriage. Appreciate. Tell the truth. It has to be a pure marriage. And a pure marriage is between a man and a woman. That's right, male and female. That's How are we doing, works. church? Amen. For all that is in the world is what? The lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh and what? The lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes and what? Pride of, Pride of life not is not of the Father, but what? It is of the world. And watch this. The 17th verse says, and the what? And the world. And the world. Away. Anything that is contaminated sooner or later is dealt with and done away with. Only yeah. what's good lasts. Only what you do for Christ will last. 17th verse again says, and the world doth what? Passeth away. Passeth away and the what? And the lust thereof. But what? But he that, he doeth, that doeth the will of God, the will of God abideth forever. Woo! How are we doing, church? Pressing on. Keep on preaching. Righteousness is what exalts a nation. nation. Sin is a reproach to any people. I don't care who you are. That's right. So listen, in 1 Peter, a couple of bit, books to the left, 1 Peter, first chapter, 13 verse. Wherefore, Gird talk, up. talking about pure religion now, a particular system of faith and worship such as holiness, talking about Pure religion now. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Be what? Sober. Sober and hope to what? The end. For what? For the grace. That is that to is be, be brought, brought unto you at the what? Revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. You just hold on. That's right. All this mess you see going on in the world, just hold on. Amen. Just hold on. That's right. Just hold on. Read. As obedient children. As what? Obedient children. Pure religion. 
Holiness, holiness, holiness. You see, obey children, obey. Mm. Do you hear that, brother BJ? Mm. Obedient children, obey. Obedient children, obey. Disobedient and arrogant children disobey. <laughs> We're talking about pure religion today. Amen. 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 And undefiled before God, before God and the Father. As obedient children, not what? Not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. It is ignorance to lie and to steal and to cheat and to think you're going to get away with it. That's ignorance. That's why, why would you be ignorant? Hmm. I still cheat. Instead of having a sound, that's foolishness. Amen. All this mess going on in the streets at night, you notice it in the night. They wait till nighttime comes. They can hide, but you can't hide from God. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust in your ignorance, but what? But as he which hath called But as you, he which have called you is holy, then what? So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. <laughs> Amen. You cannot speak good and bad to be acceptable. All right. Huh? Yeah. You cannot get sweet and bitter water to come out of the same fountain. Oh, yeah. Huh? That's old in James. It's either going to be one or the other. Right. If you are a child of God, you have no business cursing. Mm. Preach it. But as he which have called you is holy, he that have called you is holy, so be ye holy in what? Oh, All man. manner of conversation. conversation. Read. Because it is written. Because it is written. Be what? ye holy. Be ye holy. For I am holy. Read. And if you call on the Father who, without respect to persons, Read. judgeth according to every man's work. Pass what? Pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. In fear, for as much as ye know that what? You were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold. Think about it. Think about it. God did not send silver and gold to redeem you. Yeah. We were not redeemed with silver and gold and things of this nature. Read. From your vain conversation received by tradition from your father. Isn't that something? I was born a Baptist, and I, I had an individual tell me, I was born a Baptist, I'm going to die a Baptist. I said, yeah, you're going to end up going to hell, too, if you're not holy. That's right. That's right. Be ye holy. We're talking about pure religion. And when you come to understand that to be something other than what God requires is not wise, mm. you make a change. That's right. Just like when I learned that it wasn't wise to have another woman sitting in my wife's seat, hmm. I made a change. Mm. It's foolishness. If you want to stay married, you have to do the right thing for the marriage. Amen. Got to make it work. Your wife shouldn't have to beg you to get her hair fixed. If she needs something, she shouldn't have to beg you, brother. 
You should see to it that she gets it. Mm. Mm. That's how you treat it. How we doing, brothers? All right. What can I do? <laughs> mm. Got the sister's attention. And if you call on the father who without respect the person judges all according, according to every man's works or his work, Past the time of your sojourning here, what? In fear. Fear of reverence and respect to what doth said the Lord. Amen. Read. For as much as you know. For as you, much as you know that what? You were not redeemed with corruptible things. As what? Silver and gold. From where? From your vain conversation received by tradition. By tradition. By tradition. I was brought up under the democratic system. That's right, that's right. Never knew one party or the next. Mm -hmm. That's right. But after seeing what the platform is, abortion, mm. same-sex marriage, mm. hatred, mm -hmm. backbiting, that's right. deceitfulness, Preaching now. That's tradition. That, that was according to tradition. I was born under a democratic system. Mm. 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 But today, that's right. I thank God. Amen. As one man said, I'm off the plantation. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. right. I've been set free. Yeah. Free. Amen. It's a blessing to be free, church. Oh, yeah. Free life. Amen. Free Read. But with the precious blood of Christ. There it is. Vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as a what? As of a lamb. Lamb without what? Blemish. Blemish and without what? Spot. No contamination. Amen. Your religion must be pure yes. to be pleasing and acceptable in the sight of God. Read. Who verily was foreordained Read. before the foundation of the world. Read. But was manifest in these last times for you. For you. Who by him do what? Do believe in God. That did what? Raised him up. Raised him up from the dead and gave him what? Glory Lord. that your faith and hope might be what? In God. Not in something according to the traditions of your father. Your father could have been an alcoholic. Should you pattern yourself behind mm. your father's tradition? Preach it. No. No, no. He whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. Free indeed. Third scripture, fourth scripture, Ephesians. And this is going to get a little tight. All right. So if you need some help, just say mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Gets a little too tight, just say mercy. <laughs> Amen. Amen. In Ephesians, the first, in the fifth chapter, beginning the very first verse. Be ye therefore followers of God as what? Dear children. A dear child, you don't have to correct them. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear what I said? A dear child. But when they start acting up and, and, and carrying on, you got to tag them. Preach it. <laughs> I know the philosophers and the psychologists of the world today 
say you ain't supposed to do that, but I'm telling you, the <laughs> book says you are to do it. That's pure religion. Better rise for the child. That's the book. Amen. And guess who's spoiling it? You. Mm. For failing to do what you've been told to do. And God going to hold you responsible. That's it. Because see, that child going to get out there in the open one day by himself. He's going to embarrass who? You. Mm. Mm. As I told my sons, when I left town, Nobody is to give my wife any problems while I'm gone. If you do, then you're going to have to deal with me when I get back. Amen. And I didn't spare the rod. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I didn't spare the rod. He even got the police call on me one time. But Mr. Smith, you can't be, I, I said, I tell you what you do, then you take him out of here. Because if he comes in this house tonight, I'm going to put on him what I said I'm going to put on him. Mr. Mm -hmm. Smith, you can't do that. Then you better take him somewhere else. Dear children, dear children. They put me on probation for six months. Dear children, dear children. Dear children, obey. Disobedient children, if you spare the rod, you'll spoil them. Amen. Read that again, brother. Be therefore followers of God. As what? As dear children. And walk in love as Christ also have loved us and have given himself for us and often and a sacrifice to God for what? Sweet smell and But fornication. Amen. I'm talking about pure religion. That's right. Jesus said, whosoever putteth away his wife except it be for the cause of fornication causes her to commit adultery. Amen. And whosoever marrieth her that is put away committeth adultery. Why? Because she is still married to that man. There's no such thing as irreconcilable differences. We just can't get along. Well, you got along when you said, I do. Because the both of you said, I do. So what's the problem today? You have mixed it with something other than love. Amen. Because love conquers all things. Amen. How we doing, church? Pressing on. Read. But fornication, fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it what? Not be once named, once among, named you. among you as what? Become the saints. Amen. When we find sin here, we put it out. Amen. You don't tolerate and pamper with sin. That's the problem with churches today. They smiling on sin and sin feels right at home. That's right. Amen. But now we got Put it out. Put it out. We cannot mix righteousness, holiness with sin. It won't fly. Amen. 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 Read. Or covetousness. Or covetousness. Read. Let it not be once named among you as become of saints. Read. Neither filthiness. Filthiness, sucking on them nasty, dirty cigarettes, sucking on them nasty, dirty, sick. That's filthiness, nor foolish what? Talking. Foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather what? Giving up things. For this you know that no whoremonger. Amen. A whoremonger is a man that chases the whore. That's right. How we doing, church? Pressing on. Talking about pure religion. Yeah. And they got a lot of whores up in churches today and a lot of whoremongers in the church. That's right. Amen. Whew. Preach on. Pure religion. Mm -hmm. 
For this you know that no whoremonger, no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater have what? Any inheritance, Any inheritance in what? In the, kingdom, in the of kingdom of Christ and of God. So if you horn around, sister, you're on your way to hell. That's right. Preach on now. And in order for you to be a whore, there has to be a whoremonger. That's the man. All right, now. And you on your way, brother, <laughs> to hell. Yeah, cheap, too. Tight, ain't it? But it's right. That's right. Read, brother. Let no man. Let no man what? You. Deceive you, read. Vain words. Vain words, read. For because of these things come the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be ye what? Therefore, part, be ye not therefore partakers with them. Isn't that something? You, as a child of God, cannot mix with sinners. Amen. 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 Don't look to bring the world into God's church. Mm. That's true. Leave it on outdoors. That's right. Amen. Read. For ye were sometimes. You were sometimes what? Darkness. Darkness, but what? But now are ye light. Walk as what? Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, providing or proving what is acceptable unto who? Unto the Lord. It's not what's acceptable to man because you can't please man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's what's acceptable to God. Read. That's right. And have no fellowship. And have no what? Fellowship. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. You're talking about pure religion. And guess what? Religion is not just in the church. It's everywhere you go when you leave the church. Thank you. That's what You're supposed to still have pure religion. Because mm -hmm. God is everywhere. That's right. One thing I tell you about the Baptists, when they go to church on Sunday, they have church. Oh, they have church. Oh, yeah. They don't live nothing when they leave church, but they have <laughs> church while they're in church. That's right. Amen. Who you think them ones I was taking up there in Pittsburgh going to tell me? Ain't, no, ain't nobody. Man. They're the same ones in the church singing and shouting, carrying on in the church. And can't wait till they get out the church and in the hotel to be running with this one and running with that one. We ain't married on this trip. Y'all might not be married. And don't come knocking on my door. Mm. 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 All that stuff going on. I tell you what, <laughs> they had to get rid of uh, Dig and Fry. What was that story, that, that, that TV story? He was, he was bringing all that stuff out. Amen. I think so. Dig and fry with bringing all that stuff. Oh man, all that stuff. And you, and you think it's TV? Now that ain't TV. That's reality. I've seen it. Mm. Mm. Yep. Woman singing in the choir, gonna chase me down and tell me my name is Super T. I always get what I want. I looked at her right dead in the eye and said, "I said I always keep what I got." <laughs> Boom. So I'm telling you what I know, not what I heard, what I know. I know. I stepped down off the bus to helping the people at the end of the trip. That a girl comes off and says, I'd like to give you something else other than a tip. I said, what you talking about, girl? She said, don't be foolish. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I said, no, I don't know what you're talking about, girl. What you talking about, girl? I want to give you some of me. I said, whoop. Time to go. Right in the church, y'all. They don't care. That's not pure religion. Thank you. Pure religion for me to get my hat and get to moving. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. pure religion because I got a wife at home. And I love my wife at home. Good wife. Amen. She is my wife. Read, brother. 
And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Read. But rather reprove them. Read. For it is a shame even to speak of those things. Isn't that something? Are, it's a shame to even speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Read. But all things. All things are what? That are reproved are made manifest by the light. Turn the light on and the cockroaches start running. Amen. What's made manifest is manifest by the light, and whatsoever doth make manifest is what? Is light. Wherefore, he says what? Awake, Awake thou that sleepeth and do what? And arise, arise from the dead. We're talking about pure religion. Amen. Folks is in church every Sunday. Regularly, religiously. And it's just that time, right then, after I get out of church, they can't wait to start. <laughs> right, on the, right in the parking lot. Right in the parking lot. Church grounds. <clears throat> Read. See it in that word. See. Wherefore, what he said, what? He said, but wake thou to sleep and what? And arise from the dead. And what? And Christ shall give thee light. See then that you walk how? Circumspectly. Circumspectly, not as what? Fools. Fools, but what? That is why. Redeeming the time, why? Because the days are evil. Read. Wherefore, be ye not unwise. Unwise, but what? But understanding what the will of the Lord is. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this. Amen. Keep yourselves unspotted That's right. That's right. from the world. Amen. As I told my son, be careful how you deal with these ladies out here because you might one day have to preach to them. That's right. That's and if you done conducted yourself out of the way, you can't tell them. That's right. Especially when they come to church and find out, wait a minute, fornication? Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, what did, what did the pastor say? Fornication, sex outside the marriage is a sin? That's right. And you the pastor's son? Mm. Preach it. Well, I wasn't saved then. Yeah, but you're still the pastor's son. All right. How we doing, church? Pressing on. Beep. Beep. Read, brother. We got to step along here. Read. Wherefore, Wherefore be what? Ye unwise, be you not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not what? Drunk with wine. Drunk. Do what? Be not drunk with wine. Is it in the book? It's in the book. I want you to read it again, brother. So it, it, somebody just didn't hear that, but they got religion. They got religion now. They got religion. Be not what? Drunk with wine. Drunk with wine. Where in? Where in? Inside yes. of the wine. I've never seen a wise drunk man yet. Mm. Them bubbles are spirits. And guess what? You see them, they rise. And when you pour it into the glass and you see them buzzle, bubbles coming up to the top, and when you drink it, those are spirits, and they get right to the top of your head, and you become unwise. Whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank God I never had a taste for strong drink, wine, or anything else. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And be not drunk with wine wherein is. Except, excess. You say, well, I ain't had but a, a glass. It's excess in it. Wherein is excess. Drink a little, drink a lot. All right. One drop. Read. But be filled with the Spirit. But be filled with the Spirit. Read. 
speaking to yourselves, speaking in, to yourselves songs. in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to who? To the Lord. Not to the devil, but to the Lord. Giving thanks always for what? For all things. Read and unto God, God and what? In the Father and the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting yourselves what? One to another. One to another how? In the fear of God. Obedience, love, reverence, respect. Read. Wives. Wives. Hold on now. Hold, hold on. Get, get, ding, 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 ding. Put your seat belts on. Wives, what? Wives. Be what? Submit yourself. Submit yourselves to who? To your own husbands. Woo. All right, brothers. How we doing? Ah. Hold on. <laughs> Submit yourselves unto who? Unto your own husband. As unto who? Unto the Lord. Amen. Pure religion now. If your husband say no, don't turn up your face. Don't get all out of it. Get your head all sweaty. Rejoicing in Zion. Talking about submissive. Wives, read it again, digger. Read it again, digger. Submit yourselves. Submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto, unto who? Unto the Lord. If Jesus said, don't do it, you don't do it if you got pure religion. So if your husband say no, that means no. Don't be pitching no fits. Yes, honey, I love you. And if you say no, I'm going to accept that <laughs> willingly. And I'm going to go right on. Because I know that if I am willing and obedient, I'm going to reap the benefits of good. But if I refuse and rebel, if I argue, if I get all huffy, get all sweaty, and get my hair all knotty from sweat, it's just going to be a whole lot more tougher <laughs> for pure religion. Lord have mercy. Pure religion. <clears throat> pure religion. <laughs> for the husband what? For the husband is the head of the wife. Say what? <laughs> the husband is, very is. positively speaking, the yes. husband is the head of who? Head of the wife. Woo. Even as what? Even as Christ is the head of the church. Pure and religion. Pure religion. And he is the what? The savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives put the, to their own husbands in what? In everything. Not some things. In everything. Not in just what you think you ought to be subject to. In everything. In everything. I hope y'all didn't take your seatbelts off. Because you liable to get bounced around. Now, watch this. 25th verse. Husbands. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Put your seatbelt on. Bing, 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 bing. Wives, you can take your seatbelts off there now. Seatbelts is off for you, but husbands. Husbands. Do what? Love your wife. What? Love, Love working no ill to his neighbor. Mm. You got a pocket full of money and she can't get but twenty dollars. Something wrong with you, brother. That's right. That's right. Give her a thousand. 
You got a pocket full of money, a banker. You got all the bank accounts all locked up and she can't get not even one. Husbands love your wives. You ask that sister back there, she tell you, my checks go straight to her. Ooh. Am I right, sister? Who gets the checks? <laughs> I didn't hear. I don't think nobody else heard you. Did you hear? What did she say? Because I didn't hear. <laughs> All right. Husbands, Husbands love your wives, even as Christ also loved. Watch this now. Also loved the church. And what did he do for the church? He gave himself, he gave himself for, for it. it. Amen. If you see she have a need, you respond to that need. Amen. Don't say you just wait till next month. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got it. Read on, brother. That even as Christ loved the church and loved gave himself for gave it, himself for it, that, that what? he might sanctify that he and might cleanse. sanctify and do what? Cleanse it. with the washing of the water by the word by the that word. he might present it to himself. What? A glorious church. Amen. Don't let your wife go out the house looking like anything. Make sure she is dressed properly. If you see her and she ain't got the right pair of shoes on, stop her at the door. Say, hold on, honey, wait a minute, honey, wait a minute. I can't have my wife going out there looking like that. Mm-hmm. That's right. So when, I want, when, when you go out, when you go out, when she steps out the door, check her out. Check, check her out. You know how you check them other women out? Check her out. When she go out the door, check her out. <laughs> Make sure she's dressed properly. Amen. Make sure she's got the proper shoes on. Make sure she's got the hair done right. How we doing, church? All right now. Mm. 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 All right. How we doing, brothers? That he may present it to himself a glorious church, not having what? Spot, Spot or, wrinkle. or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be what? Holy. Holy. And without blemish. That's what Christ did for the church. Amen. If you know certain things is upsetting to her, make sure that you put a little sweetness to it. That's it. I've been through mine. I know how to tell you to deal with yours. All right. Amen. All right. Y'all love me, brothers? Amen. <laughs> Don't take your seatbelt off yet, because I ain't finished. Read. So are men to love their wives. So what? So are men to love their wives. As what? As their own bodies. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you can get all dressed to kill. You can get your hair cut every week, and she can't go to the beauty parlor every week. Something's wrong, brother. Preach. We're talking about pure religion today. Amen. Listen, read. We got to step up. He that loveth his wife. He that what? Loveth his wife. He that what? Loveth his wife. Do what? Loveth himself. Isn't that something? How you care for you, you ought to care for her. Mm. She is your wife. Read. 
For no man ever yet hated his own flesh. Ain't no man hated his own flesh, but, but does what? Nourishes and cherishes it, even as what? The Lord, the church. For as we are what? Members of his body. Read. Of his flesh. Read. And of his bones. Read. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. What? All right. What? Yes. Leave his father and his mother. And mother. Leave his father and his mother. Mm. Leave his father and his mother. Mm. I know that's hard for them sons to do at times. Leave mm. the father and the mother. That's it. Mm. 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 And do what? And shall be joined. And shall be joined unto who? To his wife. His wife. Ooh. Isn't God good? <laughs> Isn't God good? Amen. He don't show no partiality. What goes for one, it goes for the other. Amen. Amen. Read, we got to finish up. And they too shall be one flesh. Shall be what? One flesh. Pure religion. One flesh. One flesh. One flesh. Read. This is, the this is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. And nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, his wife. even as himself. Listen, sister, put the belt back on a minute. Put, put. Terribleness again, terribleness again. Put, put seatbelt back on. Bing, 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 bing. Watch this now. Read. And the wife. And the wife. See that she reverence her husband. <laughs> sister used to take, sister used to take and cut the steak up for her husband. He didn't even have to cut the steak up. That's she right. was taking, slice it up and cut it up. All he had to do was stick the fork in it and put it in his mouth. She done cut the steak up for him. Mm. I look at her and say, what in the world is she doing? <laughs> Reverency. Amen. See to it. What did it say? See to it. See to it. Wives, see to it. See that she reverence her husband. And in conclusion. And in conclusion, 1 John, third chapter, <clears throat> third chapter, we're Amen. talking about pure religion, third chapter. This is your captive speaker. Turbulence has ended. You can take your seat belts off and relax. Third chapter, first verse says, well, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon who? Us. Us. We, as children of God. Dear children of God. Read. That we should be called the sons of God. Sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not because what? Because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we what? The sons of God. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but what? We know that, we know that when, when he shall, shall appear, appear, we shall what? We shall be like him. We shall be like him for what? We shall see him as he is. Now watch this. The next verse says what? And every, and man, every man, woman, boy, or girl that hath this hope. In him. In him that what? Purifies himself. Even. As he is pure. Pure religion. Amen. Everybody be to hear the truth today. Raise your hand. The Lord says you shall know the truth. The truth shall what? Make you free. Free from what? Whatever's holding you captive. Against your will. May God bless you church. Heaven ever smile upon you. Let us continue to hold on and hold out. Look up but don't give up. And remember, pure religion That's and right. undefiled before God is this, that you keep yourselves unspotted from the world. Amen? Amen. Turn the service back over to the diggers. Thank you.